Hello guys, what's up? Spider Seam here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your Trinity Core private server public so that almost anybody in the world can play on it. So let's just get straight to it. So the first thing that you have to do is that you have to go to CMD, and you're going to be looking for three different ports. I mean IPs, sorry. So these are going to be the IPs that you're going to look for. The internal IP, router IP, and external IP. Now to find this, in your CMD, just type in IP config. Hit enter and then or enter and then in here just you're gonna look for these your IPv4 address which is this for me and your default gateway which is your router IP address and your external we're about to find out so make sure that you write these down somewhere or that you remember them correctly because you will go back to this a lot so here we go I'm gonna write this down real quick and there we go so after you've wrote that down you can go ahead and close that CMD and open up your your web browser and then type in what is my IP.com and basically that is where you're gonna find your external IP so for me this is my external IP I don't know if I blocked it or not I probably will so nobody can actually see my IPs I probably may not because they may not be actually effective to other people and useful anyways so after you've got all your IPs down you need to open up some ports now to do that you basically have to push forward and to port forward you must have a router if you do not have a router then I'm sorry but you're gonna have to keep going using Hamachi to make your server public and so yeah so if you do have a router you're good to go all you have to do is just get your router IP which is your default gateway open up your web browser and then in the URL bar just type in your IP address for your router your router IP address your default gateway so hit enter and then it will ask for your username and password for me it's I'm not gonna say what the username and password are you can see the username but it's not that important the password is but anyway hit login and after that just wait for that to load and just go into your port forwarding part I'm just gonna show you how I port forward just to show you like you know an idea of it so you may see some stuff over here that I've blocked just for security and anyways so click on well for me it's advanced and if you have like what I have if you have something similar to what I have then do what I do so click on the advanced tab that's for me and then advanced setup and for me it's right here port forwarding slash port triggering so we're not gonna port trigger we're just gonna port forward and when you type in your service name, it doesn't matter if it's the same or not. It can be different service names um, for your IP, I mean for your ports. It's fine if they're different names as long as you just port forward the, those ports on your internal IP address or just port forward them. So anyway, for me I'm going to click on add custom service and here we go. Service name, I'm just going to type in wow server and I think I already have something named like that so I'm just going to type in wow server 4 I think that's where I stopped and so yeah right here your protocol is going to either be TCP or UDP or both so if you have if you don't have the selection to select both then you're going to have to put forward these ports one by one on each like for example here TCP you're going to select TCP and then enter in the ports apply and then you're gonna have to create another port the same exact port but this time is gonna be UDP and then hit apply for me I have the option to select both at the same time which is a really good thing so yeah so if you have something similar to mine this is how I, I'm capable to do it um, let's pour it forward port 80 but I think I already have that port forwarded so I'm gonna go ahead and port forward 8050 so right here just gonna type in 8050 and the bottom 8050 and this one should be already made up by them and then over here you're gonna type in your last IP um, internal IP address which is basically for me for me I can just select it which mine is right here and I probably blocked this out for you just because these are all my IP addresses from different devices which are really important so you probably cannot see what's written over here uh, you probably can't even see my cursor. Well, well, it's over here around this blocked area right here. You probably won't be able to see that because that's all my IP addresses. But basically, you're just going to type in your IP address in this section over here if you have something similar to that. Hit apply, and you're going to be port forward. So I hit cancel because I just don't want to mess up my ports right now. But yeah, 
So after you've port forwarded all of these ports, um, this will be in the link in the description, not a link, but this will be in the description box below so you can take a look at it anytime. Alright, so after you've port forwarded all of these ports right here, you can port forward them and after that, just you're going to go to your host file and this is really important. So go to your C drive, go to Windows, and then look for System32, which is right here. And then you're looking for um, drivers right here, and then ETC. And here you go. You have your host file right here. So right-click on that, hit on Properties, because most likely it's going to have security on it that you cannot really edit it. So right-click on it, Properties, hit the Security tab and hit edit on each one of them like for example here is system hit edit select the allow all box the full control box just select that for me it's already selected and for me here all of them are already selected on the <clears throat> excuse me on the uh, full control and after that just hit okay okay and then right click on it open it up with notepad or notepad plus plus i like to open it up with notepad plus plus just just because that's my favorite text editor and it's more organized so anyway, after you've done that, you're going to want to go like twice down until you're like on line 23 or something. Just go twice down from over here. It doesn't really matter. And after that, you're going to go back to the part where we typed in all our internal IP, router IP, and external IP. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to type in 127.0.0.1, hit tab one time, and then type in your... Um, actually, just pause right there. After you've done that, just pause because I forgot to mention one more thing. Um, go to noip.com uh, right here. So noip.com. And then you should find this website right here, but you need to create an account. For me, I've already created an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. So right here. Okay, so once you've signed in, hit on the host slash redirects uh, tab, and after that, I already have one right here, so I'm just going to add a host instead. Um, Alright, so for your host name, type in anything you want. Like, for example, your server name. I'm just going to type this one, spider, actually, I think I already used that before. Uh, Alright, spider with seam, and then on this part, you can select whatever you want. If you go under the part where it says no dash IP free domains, these parts below are free. The ones above right here, all you have to pay for. So if you want a free one and the most selected one, click on servegame.com just because it sounds like a server. It says serve and then game. So you're like serving a game for someone. So yeah. Anyways, after that, make sure that the DNS host is selected right here and nothing else. And keep in mind this IP address, which I believe that we already have right here. So yeah. Um, just hit add host and it should be adding in a minute. Alright, there we go. So here we have spiderseam.servegame.com. And keep in mind that you don't have to name it spiderseam.servegame.com. It can be anything you like and it doesn't specifically have to be .servegame.com. For example, my server in the future is going to be called anarchy-wow um, or anarchy-wow. So here, this is my original one, anarchy-wow.servegame.com. So anyways, after you've created this, you want to go back to your host file which is right here and then the part where you did 127.0.0.1 and then you hit tab one time and tab just makes like a space so once you hit tab just type in or just copy and paste this part the spiderseam.servegame.com which is your um, host domain so just type in that here and yeah so hit enter and then we're gonna go back right here to our other IP addresses and we're gonna go ahead after you've typed in your local host IP, which is 127.0.0.1, you want to take a look at your internal IP. Copy that, go back over here, paste it, tab one time, or probably tap twice if it doesn't... Yeah, it's probably best if you just tab it twice, because sometimes it doesn't really make this big um, space. So hit tab twice on each of them, and then we're going to go back over here, and then this time we're going to look for our router IP. So we're going to go back, enter, this, tap twice, copy this uh, host domain, paste it, enter, and then I believe there's still one more left, which is your external IP, and this is the important one. Uh, well, they're all important, but you have to include them all. So once you've done that, tap twice, and copy this, and paste it. And there you go. Now you have your host file all set and ready to go. 
So next we're basically going to go for um, the repack or your core itself. We're going to go to the, con the config files just to double check on everything. So anyway, save that and then close. Okay, so after you're done with the host file, um, all you have to do now, well you're very close to being finished, all you have to do now is go into your database, but make sure that your MySQL is running. I use this MySQL notifier, which yes, it is running. So, go to your database, and I use HadeySQL as my database editor. You can use anything else you like, but HadeySQL for me is highly recommended. So anyways, after you've done that, you want to go into your um, auth database, which is right here. And then you want to look for Realmness. So hit this data. You want to take a look at this address tab right here, address bar. So it's going to be 127.0.0.1, but you want to change that to your um, host address. Um, remember when we did on the no IP? Mine's was spider with seam dot serve game dot com hit enter now if this does not work for you because I was I'm not exactly a hundred percent sure that you are supposed to edit this but keep in mind it's not supposed to be one two seven point zero point zero point one uh keep it as this but if this does not work out for you then like in the end if you're having troubles logging into your server then go back into this part and edit this to be your um I believe it's your external IP and yeah, we'll try out your internal IP too. So it's either your internal IP and external IP, or as your IP, um, I mean host address, which is the .servegame.com thing. And sorry for this confusion that you have to try this out like three times, this one, um, or this one, or this one. But these were the things that some people did not really get it to work. For me, it just works as this address, but for some people it does not work like that. I don't know why, but I'm just giving you a heads up on that. So right now we're basically finished, but the last thing that you want to do, um, well, hit this check button to save, and then the last thing that you want to do is that you want to go into your Realmness and basically change that, well, here. The Realmness is located at your World of Warcraft folder and your data folder, ENUS or ENGB, depending on your client's um, region, which there is other stuff like ENFR, EN... Um, other stuff. Well, for me, it's ENUS because I'm in the United States region for this client. And so open that up and then you should find Realmness. Right click on that, edit that with open with Notepad or um, Notepad, you know, just a text editor. And then set Realmness, keep it like this set Realmness, and then your serve game address, your host address, which mine was spiderseam.servegame.com. Make sure that you save and close. Now after that, you're basically finished, to be honest. All you have to do is just get someone to try it. And yeah, you're basically finished. All you have to do is, again, just restart everything just to be sure. So restart your MySQL. Um, for me, I just restarted this way. Uh, I believe. There you go. So right-click on this thing. Well, this is how I run my MySQL. If you have your own compiled core, this is most likely how you're going to run your MySQL. If you have a repack, then it's just going to be like, a file that you open up to run your MySQL. So for me right here, I'm just going to click on restart and it should restart my MySQL. So basically all I'm trying to say is restart your whole server, your auth, um, your auth, your world, uh, exe files, and your MySQL. So after that's done, you're basically set, you're ready to go. That's how you basically just make your server public. So now anybody can just log into your server just by changing their Realmness to your Realmness, which is set Realmness host address, which mines with spiderseam.servegame.com. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And here you go. Um, my MySQL is um, restarted. And then after that, just open up your auth. I have shortcuts right here. And then open up your this one right here, your world server and you're good to go. So yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Give that video a like button. Share this video if you want to, and also subscribe for more videos. And tell me a comment about what you think about this video, and did it help you or not, what type of videos you want me to make next, and anything you like, really. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.